too much demon in our country. And we need to pray them out. We need to come together in a one united voice and ball in the Almighty Creator years to deliver we right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. That's why I don't want to see Rasta community right now. And on a Rasta community, me attack, me attack the leaders, then we are lead. Because, let me tell you something, the, the sellout happened right across the board. The Rasta leaders in the house, sell out. The church leaders, them, in the house, in a freedom church, sell out. The main one, them, the main pastor, them, sell out. The main leaders of the Naya Bingi house, sell out. The main leaders of the music industry sell out. Them still sit down in the music industry. A wall guard. That's why the little youth them will have real talent like tall up them and every other little youth where you see end up do some whole heap of foolishness. It's because of who them identify as. You know, these are the only the nasty artists them give the road. You know why I mean I cuss King and Valley and them really and truly? It's because I know say I use them, I use them. Because if you teach the youth them how to sing that way they alone and push that pan them, that is what them going to study and practice. If you did a create a balance in them and I try to make them know say alright. You know? While you have the creative rights, you still have a moral responsibility for all like little girl them in the inner city them where all them think them good for is to get up and suck wood and 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 hood down throat and man demon is the man and that is supposed to be the order of the day of a country where is god did shine out of jamaica a god shine out of jamaica you know and by devil you know is god why the world love jamaica so you know how we stand up for the creator how we promote with talent how we not bow down to no form of foolishness it was that resistance that we have where god was our guide throughout all our darkest years the welcome to the channel i am the jamaican scoop diva now the first thing that i'm going to be discussing is this video a quite a lengthy video um of queen africa she did a live and the first thing i want to put out there that wasn't a part of this snippet was that um in response to the accusations made by maka diamond and lady saw um they were saying that she was a known les and she's saying that the only time that she had any kind of les experience was at eight years old when she was r-a-p-e-d by a much older female and so she wanted to just put that out there um but in this particular video she was really addressing the dumbing down of society and how the system has been set a particular way to basically curb the youth and the people of jamaica to do negative things and to do bad things and a lot of people i realized when i was watching the entire long video a lot of them were saying a lot of them were saying that she probably is going crazy or she's being stressed out because of her split from you know her ex tony rebel um well to my knowledge she has not been with him for over a year now and she also expressed different concerns like for example um not really getting as much work done in the dancehall industry and so forth and so that could take a toll on anybody but personally i don't believe that it is a stress that is causing this i feel like she's awoke i she i feel like well people refer to it as being woke and a lot of things that she's saying in the in the long clip even in this clip that i showed just here um showed here just now it will go over a lot of people's head especially if you are not spiritually inclined or you're not intelligent or you lack knowledge but the truth is she's spitting a lot of hard facts and i'm not going to tell you that i agree with everything that she said but she's spitting facts um particularly she was explaining the degradation of the space of the music industry in particularly dancehall and reggae now if you compare dancehall from in the 90s and the early 2000s dancehall is not christian music but there is a certain level where you know in my opinion and obviously in queen africa's opinion shouldn't be crossed and so when you look at the differences in the industry it has become more and it's becoming nastier it's becoming more s-e-x-u-a-l-l-y graphic and it is unnecessary because the reality is that sometimes this kind of music doesn't really sell it may seem popular 
in Jamaica, but on the wider scheme of things, you realize that other kinds of music are selling more instead of dancehall, like for example, Afrobeat, but I digress. So on what she's saying, she even referred to protege as proto joke, which is funny. And what she's saying is that it is strange that the Rastafarians have welcomed certain kind of persons in the industry, knowing the type of things they practice. No, if you know, you know. And she's saying that true Rastafarianism shouldn't allow these kinds of people in their circle or in their practice or in their group. Um, another thing that she was explaining is that the kind of music, music that is being produced, it degrades women especially. And it is causing the females to lack self-esteem and self-worth, thus causing the females to act in a kind of way that is damaging, damaging to themselves and to their bodies and their mental health, which overall is damaging to the society and the industry. And she's saying that there are lots of gatekeepers in the industry that is condoling this kind of behavior that is saying, go forward instead of trying to clean up the industry she's saying that this is actually intentionally done for a greater purpose or a greater reasons um, um you could look at it you can read into it um and that's all i'm going to say for now but you could leave the comments and you know we could have a discussion about it now there has been a video circulating of what seems to be a jamaican police officer performing s-e-x-u-a-l acts on video now on the website that it was posted on said that um a video has surfaced online with a jamaican constabulary force jcf policewoman performing oral on a man the policewoman was seen in the video in a compromising position doing whatever in her work uniform the video was posted on a popular adult website by the policewoman and has gone viral since no official statement has been made by the JCF since the release of the video. The cop still has not been identified. No, in my personal humble opinion, I don't believe that this is a real police officer. Because if you look at the video, she is willingly recording herself um, with her own phone. So she is aware of what she's doing and she's know she knows she's recording and she's recording herself. Now, if you take a close look at the video posted on the website, you will see a logo that says Champion Throat. So I took the liberty of Googling Champion Throat and it brought me to TikTok and it brought me to Instagram. Now, when I read the bio, it said that she is an adult entertainer. Now, if you look closely at the photos and you look closely at the video of the female performing the act in this viral video of the, with the female wearing the police uniform, you will see that there is some kind of resemblance between the two females. So there's a chance that it might be the same female, which means that this lady was only performing. And so maybe the police uniform was some kind of a role play, but you could see clearly where she is advertising herself and it did state that she posted the video herself. Now, if you're wondering why the JCF probably has not released a statement or the cop has not yet been identified, that there's a high chance that she's not a cop and the JCF would have no reason to identify this female or, sorry, release information regarding this female because she's probably not a part of the Jamaican Constabulary Force. She's just an adult entertainer and she's just... I guess doing her business and it was probably role play role play sorry you could go ahead and google it google um google google champion throat and you can do your own comparisons now on to a much sadder note um businessman Founder and executive chairman of the Lasco Group of Companies, LaSalle Chin, has died. Chin died last night in Florida, United States, surrounded by family. He was 86 years old. Chin founded Lasco Distributors Limited in 1988. Now, um, for lots of people, especially in the business world um this is a great loss um yes he lived quite a long life but his contribution to jamaica is great um 
his products are a set of the most affordable products and they're highly competitive in their prices because if you go into a supermarket or a wholesale you will see a lot of different brands but because um lasco is a local brand it competes better or it competes well as it was made locally now there are lots and lots of um items that this company has provided the jamaican market with so he has bath soaps he has um ketchup lasco mackerel lasco um, lasco milk i mean right now if you say lasco without saying um milk powder naturally any jamaican will tell you you're talking about milk powder so um his contribution has been great to our jamaican society and he has caused jamaica to be able to have a lot of locally made products and of course have contributed to the workforce etc so um rest in peace and we send out con well i send out condolences to his family and loved ones and with that being said this is the jamaican scoop diva please like share and subscribe hit the notification bell and leave your comments below and take care of yourselves